Okay, so when you open up the Poster Smash project, uh, you're going to get this main timeline here, and you're going to see your bottom comp there. It says Poster Smash. Now, inside this comp is going to be where all your posters and all the animation resides. So if you double-click on there, you are going to see that we have, uh, again, our, our basic controllers we've been using for all these different projects. Uh, more importantly, you're going to see poster 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, that isn't so much the actual mini posters, but think of it more as the poster board. Okay, so this is poster 1, where we have a few different posters here of our uh, zombies from Planet X and our Dark Matters and, you know, some title tags here. So if I double-click into poster number 1 for a second... We can see inside here that we have our uh, our cameras working so that we get multiple angles as you see in the preview. We kind of get closer tight shots to uh, multiple areas of the poster uh, and, and you can see that with these different camera angles and you can change and modify these cameras if you wish. Um, but more importantly, let me just come back to uh, this full layout here so that we can get a good visual of changing our elements. So here we have poster one, which you see here, zombies from Planet X. And then we have poster two. And then we have our banner text here. And then we have our background. And then we just have uh, a little bit more text back there, which is gonna be the grindhouse text, which you see actually uh, in the first part here. So if I move forward, it's uh, just this part here in the beginning where it says Grindhouse. So that how, that can be changed right here. We can simply just double click on it and change here. Okay. And then it would update if you change it there. But let's go back to the actual um, full shot so that we can just kind of see how things change quick. So if we go into poster number one for a second, this is our zombies from Planet X, we can just double click inside this poster. So inside this actual poster, we are gonna see our paper overlay, uh, we have our grunge overlay, our ash, and then we have our text. And if you just kind of check these on and off, you can see which ones are which. So let me just bump down the resolution of this really quick. If we were to go into uh, text number two for a minute and just double click and change that. So I'm just switching off a couple of these texts and just changing it right here. And when you go back, everything's going to be changed for you. And then when we want to add a video photo, we're going to see a video holder in which we can just double click on that and just place our image of uh, or our video inside here. So let me just grab an image. So we just want to drag that right underneath this grunge border here and depending on the size you use, in this case I'm just going to scale it out a little bit. And there you go. So once we go back to our poster smash, all is going to be changed. Now this will be pretty much the same rule of thumb for each poster comp that you see here. If I go into poster number two, once again we're met with poster four and five. And then you're going to see uh, our other elements such as adult content, the grindhouse title so everything's you know I think very organized to where it shouldn't be confusing uh, as I check these on and off you can simply see what elements they are and you can just change those to see how you uh, however you wish okay so if you choose to change the banner you could uh, simply just double click go inside and change that text add a few icons if you wish and each poster you can double click on and it's going to have the same uh, structure as you saw in the example I just showed you. And going down to poster four for a second, where we're met with some more posters here. So um, again, same concept, 
same structure. Uh, everything should be clearly labeled for you to uh, go in and, and just double click and change each comp to or text or advertisement. Uh, in this case, you can also go into something like uh, if I go to poster number one, keep in mind you can uh, you can modify these. So uh, for for instance, if I just double click and, and let me put a image in there for a second. Something vulgar like this. Perfect. OK, so here's my poster. Now, the one thing I want to mention as you have uh, here the option to also save this frame as a Photoshop layer. So in this case, if I went to composition, I went to save frame as Photoshop layer, I could save this as a Photoshop uh, project. However, you do want to make sure that when you do that, you, you are in the view of full resolution. Okay, so here's the difference. If I were to keep this at quarter resolution and I were to go to layer, if I were to go, uh, go to composition, save frame as Photoshop layers, I'll just call this uh, sample one. You may get this warning because there might be some blending modes with these posters that don't uh, mesh up with Photoshop. So you may have to go into Photoshop and adjust some of the blending modes to, to get what you want for some of these posters. But you can hit OK. Now if I go into Photoshop for a second and I opened up sample number one, I can see that it's a little over five megabytes. And remember, I saved it as a quarter resolution I was in. Okay, so what it's going to do is really uh, translate that into Photoshop and it's going to give me a lower res version of Photoshop. Okay, so right now I'm scaled in an, at a 100% uh, and you know I'm working at a smaller scale whereas if I were to bump this up to a full resolution, go to make movie Go to composition, save frame as Photoshop layers, and I'll call this sample two. Already you can see that I'm working at a uh, much heavier Photoshop project that's going to be much higher resolution. All right, so keep that in mind if you do save it as a Photoshop project, uh, you're going to want to make sure you save it at full resolution while you're in After Effects and then you can just change back your resolution. And finally the poster number three which is a little bit different in the style uh, I, I decided to really try doing all one camera move with this one just because uh, I was just trying to challenge myself to be honest with you. So really this is all one camera move as you see in the preview. Now, with that said, the camera itself, if I go into it, uh, you know, I, I, you can mess around with the uh, depth of field if you want it to be a little bit cleaner with the uh, in and out of focus, or you can just take down the, uh, the blur level a little bit here and uh, modify that to how you wish, okay, so that things are more in focus. I wanted a little bit gritty so I kept it at how you see in the preview but you can certainly just modify your uh, camera focus distance and blur levels to uh, make it less blurry and maybe focus in on images that you want more so than what I did. Uh, but I'm going to keep the focus off for a minute. So I'm just going to turn the depth of field off and you might want to do that while you're working in this particular project. And as I scroll down this particular timeline, it is a little bit different, but it is very organized where we have our blood mats, our fire ash. We can kind of gauge where these things are by just highlighting them for a, a split second, okay? Now we have our, our frame number one, which is going to be this poster here. And again, same thing. If I double click and go into this frame here, I can double click here. And then you're going to be met with the similar structure of changing your text and modifying your... Uh, image in your placeholder. Uh, you should get these markers where it's going to tell you where the camera begins. So if I were to go at this point here, uh, frame number three, I get a good idea of exactly what layer point I'm at in which 
uh, comp I need to double click into. Okay, so if I were to uh, just move down maybe about a second more. So now I can see that cam uh, frame three is right here. So just move maybe half a second past your, your marker and you know we can see that here's our frame and then we can just double click inside that frame and again we are going to get our mats for which are giving us this burn effect and you can always change those drag and drop and modify those how you wish and you should be met with a marker that also tells you you know where you're at where the camera's uh, at at this point so you can change your text then select your placeholder and then you can just add your image you can get a rough animation here and now when we pop out to poster number three everything's going to be changed right there the changing is as simple as paying attention to your markers and moving into that particular frame double click this is uh, one project that you do want to probably use this render booster application you, you're gonna find it move a lot faster than uh, the 1080p or 720p again you're gonna render out in the 1080p or 720p mode in the render booster but do make sure you check out the uh, render optimization tutorial to kinda get a more deeper look into rendering uh, all these projects but specifically the poster smash project and the credit reel the last two projects of the preview are really the chunky renders um, that you got to look out for so make sure you check out that render optimization tutorial to uh, optimize the speed of your system as well as your render times for those spe uh, specific projects